Welcome to our step-by-step -step Adobe Stock Uploading Automation Tutorial. I know it's a handful of words there, but essentially we're going to have software create, upload, upscale, tag title, literally everything required for the whole Adobe Stock workflow right here, right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and log in to stockphotographyautomation.com and we're going to get started. So I'm going to go ahead and click sign in and I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Okay, now that I'm signed in, it's very simple. I'm going to begin by creating some images. For the sake of it, I'm going to use this Molotov um, uh, model, image generation model, and I'm going to ask the AI to create for me uh, a variety of different abstract images. My goal here is to create about 50 images. We're going to have different image sets. So I'm going to click on Supernova here because I do want my images to be automated for me. And I'm going to go with 10 prompts for now. That 10 prompts is going to go ahead and create 40 different images for us because every one usage of Molotov equals four different images. Okay, for all other models, every one use equals one image. But Molotov, every four uses equals four images. So I'm going to be asking home interiors with nice backyard views and we're gonna have we're gonna ask for various scenes and we're gonna ask for different climates all right and with that we're gonna go ahead and click generate now and generate 40 different images you can see it's click generate it's generating here and what it's doing first is it generates the various prompts and then from the various prompts, it will generate those images. So it's gonna create some diversity for us. And you could see what kind of ideas I gave it. I just want interiors of homes with nice background views, various scenes, different climates, and the AI takes that information, then thinks of those different interior scenes, you know? And this would be a nice little collection to add to my portfolio, so why not? So we'll let the image, images generate here for just a second. I won't be doing any cuts or editing in this video because I do want you guys to see pretty much how everything works. So it's going to be relatively simple. You can see some really nice images here. I caught my eye on a few of them, but um, we're expecting to see 40 images here because like I said, we have 10 prompts. So you can see here it says batch 40. All 40 images are taken care of for us. Let's go ahead and begin by tagging and titling these. So in order to do that, all I have to do is click on this AI metadata button. I'm gonna click metadata once again, and I'm selecting here all the different images that I want tagged and titled. In my case, I want all of the images tagged and titled. So I'm gonna click use 80 tokens to start, and now it's going to take its time to tag and title literally every single image here. So for now, it's just a matter of waiting. A little note during this phase of the uh, automation is I could shut off my computer walk away come back in 20 minutes and the the information will be ready for me in that metadata section okay so that's a, like a little FYI here and you can see every little green colored type icon means that it has been completed it is going through image by image you can see it's been like a whole two minutes now and it's went through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 images so far. We do have 40 on the list. So I'm just going to wait till these 40 are completed. And uh, I'll be back once this is ready. And once again, I can always shut off my computer, completely walk away from the computer. And uh, once it's finished, it will be ready for me. All right, good. So... It seems like we're finished here with all of our images and whenever I click on one now that it's all completed we can see the different title we can see the different tags and you know this is the nice thing about this is that we have variations of images you could see this image looks like some sort of snowy type image and I could download it if I want all I have to do is click this X button right here and then view the images in a larger format which is perfectly fine but we get images in different scenarios. Like I said, these images that are created followed the exact instructions. I asked for different climates. I asked for minimalist 
interiors of homes that have some sort of background point of view. And like I said, it, it created it for us in different niches. You could see we have uh, what seems to be like some sort of uh, window frame here. You got some trees outside. This looks like, um, it's mentioned olive grove. So to me, this looked like Italy or some sort of desert type, you know, like Sicily, some type of warm environment. Here we have some sort of fall foliage type nature looking with a with a big kind of table in this image. And yeah, the, the images just keep going. I mean, this one's pretty cool. This is almost like a city view, right? So let's go ahead and click done here. And now we have one thing left to do for these images before we can submit them to Adobe Stock, which is we want to upscale them, you know? So we're going to hit select on all of these images here. And we're going to select the upscale button. Now, the upscale button here is going to cost us 140 tokens. Let's hit confirm and use tokens. And let's kind of have these images perfectly upscaled for us. And you can see here, each image says upscaling. And once it's completed, we'll know it's completed because it will show uh, that the image is upscaled. And it'll have this little logo of this airplane icon, which means basically we can send it to our Adobe stock account. And so it's doing an upscale. You can see here it's upscaled to 4K. All of them are gonna be 4K, um, which is technically a double upscale. I believe a double upscale in our case. I could be wrong about that actually. I'm not sure. I would have to see the original size of the image. In fact, let me download one of the images right now. This is one of the images here. Let me make it a little bit smaller and let's figure out what size this is. So if I click this button here, and I click this, uh, it's 1024. So technically, yes, it is a double upscale because the image, if it's 4K, that means it's gonna be 4096 pixels by 4096, I believe, or some num number similar to that. Uh, so let me click OK here. Let me get rid of this. And uh, it looks like we're almost finished with all the images upscaling. So once again, we have all the images that are tagged. We have all the images that are titled and now we're about to have all the images to be upscaled. It's just four images away uh, for everything to be upscaled. And this is a nice luxury to have this software. I'm not going to act like every single person needs it. It's just a luxury. That's, that's all it is. Uh, it's a luxury. It's an added benefit. Um, it increases the speed of output, that's for sure. Um, and it's definitely very effective. So once this is completed, we have our very last image that we need upscaled. Right? We can click on any one of these images. Um, while this is like upscaling the very last image, I'll just download like one of these, okay? And we'll open it up. Let's see how it looks. And there it is. Look at that. Beautiful image, okay? This is a uh, perfectly square type image. I should have checked the size on that. Let me check here. Um, if I was to fix my little, I don't want to call it an error, but a preference, Whenever I have uh, images like this that are like a little bit more kind of scenery type images, and I wanted to get it on the big screen here for you guys so you guys can see it, but whenever I have images that, you know, kind of represent more scenery type images, I would definitely prefer to go with a different aspect ratio. So aspect ratios definitely control output because remember, an image that has more scenery in it, more, um, more scenic views, that's the best way I could put it, it's probably going to be trained on a more horizontal type image view for the software that is. And so if it's trained that way, that means the AI is more capable of creating better images that are more horizontal. And so I want to run that test tomorrow. But now that this is all completed, we can see here one image failed. We can try to uh, re you know reinitiate this upscale. Um, it says upscaling retry initiated successfully. So one of the upscales failed, that sometimes happens, you know, it's perfectly natural, perfectly normal, and uh, we'll wait for it to finish if it does complete upscaling. If for some reason it can't, it can't, you know, maybe there's something corrupt in the file image or something like that, but that's okay, we won't, okay, I was about to say we won't wait for it, but it did complete. Now it's time to send these images to our account. So I'm going to click on all of these images here, and I'm gonna click upload, just like that. And I'm going to click confirm and use tokens. And we're going to go have them sent right now. And if you could look right here, the reason why it failed to get connection is because I failed to connect 
my Adobe stock account to my account right here. So I'm actually going to do that. Um, the way this works is inside the Adobe stock account, and I'll just refresh this real quick. Inside my Adobe stock account, uh, I have a bunch of images inside. If we go over here to the uh, settings, okay, uh, excuse me, in the Adobe stock account uh, here. So I'll kind of show you how they're, they're found. They're called the SFTP uh, information. If I click learn more, there my information is. Okay, and all I have to do is copy and paste it. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, great. So it does look like my connection is successfully verified and it is fully connected. Now I could effectively send these images perfectly fine. So I'll go ahead and hit upload. Should cost me uh, 40 tokens and uh, it should send over my images. And you can see here there is no direct um, issue anymore. Uh, with my connection all right so uh, there's no error there's no immediate error and so what's gonna happen is it's gonna start sending these images and you can see here uh, we have one image here that has like a little green part to it, it means that it is successfully sent over we can always uh, see our our connection stream we can always log through it and, and read through it but I'll go ahead and let this sit for a little while because so these images are quite dense you know it's a lot of details so it will send those images through and uh, it will upload one image at a time to our account perfect so right now it seems like all the different images have been sent to Adobe stock at least what that's what the software says right uh, because every single little button here is green and it's checked off and I can no longer click on any of these so now let's go ahead and verify that that's actually the case in Adobe stock let me check out my account and we'll see what happens so here I'm in Adobe stock let's go ahead and refresh our page and let's see exactly what's there so this is exactly what I wanted to see and and basically all of my images are here uh, you can see I can click on any one of them and hover over them all of these different scenic type images we can also see that there is the text here for the title we can see we have the uh, tags and if I wanted to publish this all I have to do is click that it is AI generated very important so I don't forget that right and I can click multiple at the same time just like that make sure it's AI generated select no and that's it I'll just click save work and then these images will be ready for submission you can see here every single one of them pretty much is ready for submission sometimes you just have to click on them sometimes Adobe stock could be finicky like that but uh, as you could see I could submit 11 images right now which are the ones that I pretty much selected if I select all of them uh, they'll be ready so some have 13 tags some have 19 some have 15 10 you know 21 9 it varies uh, but the point is the job is finished here so very nice work and uh, very easy as you could see I didn't have to automate I didn't use Midjourney or Leonardo don't get me wrong those softwares are great they're phenomenal uh, but this is something that I'm gonna stick to for now just because it's a little easier to use a little quicker and there's more automation so it basically serves my goal and my needs more by pretty much doing nothing just clicking a couple buttons and the process is all finished so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you have any questions or you have any concerns or comments let me know in the comments down below and uh, yeah I'll talk to you guys later thanks for watching peace out bye